Looking at what our planet has to offer, the importance of sustainability can be found everywhere where nature works its wonders. From majestic plains to microscopic environments, the ingenuity and interdependency of it all leads to sustainable ecosystems. But in respect to water, mankind appears not to be learning nature's lessons. Believe it or not, this arid region was once a beautiful lake where fishermen earned a good living. The former Soviet Union decided to divert the water of two main rivers draining into the Aral Sea to irrigate farmland. Large volumes of grains and cotton were produced in these farmlands, securing food availability and providing economic stimulants to the area. However, with this diversion, the lake was robbed of its water supplies. The Aral Sea was left dry, its ecosystems and economy destroyed, affecting, in particular, the fishermen who depended upon it. To increase their agricultural area, the Dutch have drained the low-lying peatlands in the western part of the country for centuries. Their polders provide agricultural outputs for a long period contributing to Holland's development. However, these benefits eventually did have a negative environmental and social impact. With groundwater at an historic low, peat oxidation and clay consolidation resulted in large-scale land subsidence. Currently, a large extent of the Dutch land surface is under sea level, and to keep feet dry, continuous pumping is essential. This causes another environmental consequence, seawater intrusion. In a world where economic and population growth knock on the same doors at the same time, sustainability is as big a necessity as it is a challenge. When it comes to groundwater, Sustainability simply means ensuring that no more groundwater goes out and comes in over the long term. Easier said than done. Libya extracts five times more groundwater out of its aquifers than is gained by rainwater infiltration. This is unsustainable. But what if the people have no alternative? Large-scale groundwater pumping causes widespread salinization in coastal areas of Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Orissa, Kerala. Currently, various solutions are being studied. In the Netherlands, in around 400,000 locations, soil and groundwater are contaminated due to past human activities. Over 25% of these locations need to be remediated before 2030. Estimated cost, 12 billion euros. Currently, new legislation should prevent further contamination and protect soil and groundwater quality. Economic development depends upon availability of fresh water. The less groundwater a region has, and the more it depends on groundwater for food production and economic development, the higher the risk for overexploitation. Choices on how to manage groundwater should obviously be based on a thorough knowledge and understanding of groundwater systems. Continuous inventory and monitoring of our groundwater systems provides us the necessary data and information to make such important decisions. Considering the challenges the world is facing concerning water management and groundwater in particular, we may conclude that the following actions are important steps in the right direction. Managing groundwater instead of overexploitation. Improving knowledge and understanding of regional groundwater systems and its uses. Policies, legislation and action plans should result in equitable and sustainable groundwater use and in groundwater protection and conservation. And last but not least, ongoing monitoring and evaluation to provide means to continuously optimize groundwater management.